food security and sovereignty start in our rainforests. Our action taken within those regions, as well as within our agricultural field, determine our ability to feed ourselves. Our activities in the rainforest impact the marine environment, one of St. Lucia's common protein sources. Practice like indiscriminate deforestation, poor crop selection, and abuse of agrochemicals lead to the degradation of the soil and depletion of its nutrients and directly contribute to the destruction of our marine environment. Sustaining the balance of biodiversity, that is the plant, animals, and microorganism within our environment ensures a sustainable food source, healthy water supply, and the preservation of our resources for future generations. My ministry has taken steps to diversify our agricultural production and create niche products which support and complement our tourism product. Through our agro-tourism initiatives, the unique flavors, tastes, and recipes of our island will become part of an authentic St. Lucia experience. We are currently focusing on seven key crops, which, when used correctly, can result in self-sufficiency and sustainability within the country's agricultural sector. We are also encouraging all persons to support local production, which will help in promoting good health. Friends, as we observe our 26th anniversary as a party to the Convention on Biological Diversity, under the theme, our biodiversity, our food, our health, I challenge you to explore ways in which you can do your part to conserve and protect our unique biodiversity. Let's work together to maximize the use of our precious resources. They can improve our lives and well-being, stimulate economic growth and create wealth for the people of St. Lucia. I would like to wish each and every one a happy international Day for Biodiversity. I thank you.